Today we're out in uh, Renolda, out here in Winston-Salem. It's like another old little village area to have a house. It's off of uh, Renolda Road in Winston-Salem. And it's fairly close to Old Salem, part of Winston-Salem, which is like the head place of the Moravians. We're gonna go check out some trails and see what else is around this area. I've never been out here either, so we're gonna see what this place has. A little swamp area to see all sorts of different things birds, ducks, all sorts of nature. So, here's an old boat dock randomly in a trail. This used to be a lake over here that just kind of disappeared, and then all the silt and dirt falling in and built that area up. So, it still has some of the remains from different things and some water. Some of the lake. Is that a fishing hole? Yep, there's a couple of them. So you got benches over there you can fish out of. Seems like there's like old little buildings all over this little place too. There's one up here. I wonder what's inside the hole. It's there, so be careful. Very long. This used to be a swimming pool. I guess that was like the pump house from what it looked like down below. And it looked like a diving board or something might have gone off the very top of it. Here's a little waterfall. This pond is a lot bigger. It's got another trail that goes over there, but it's not mulch. There's like a whole little family of turtles down there. Poke his head out. There he goes, swimming away. Then they got this pretty landscape with all the flowers, and they got a big pile of mulch right in the middle of it. Yeah. You figured they'd put it down and spread it out right away. I think they just come up right there. After walking around the trails and stuff, you can go ahead and visit the Renolda House. You can go ahead and go pay, and go in, or you can just walk around the property. They are doing some work though. I guess landscaping or something. They got a really, really loud truck right now. This is a great thing to do with like old windows, John. Take old windows and make a frame. Yeah. Make your own little greenhouse like this. And it's cheap because people just throw those windows out. This is? Yeah. It's the uh, Little Bee Ficus. It was actually donated to us uh, a little over a year ago now. But uh, cut it back and it's bushed out a lot better. And I need to repot it. I'm going to repot it the same pot, but kind of root prune it a little bit and put it back in there. Right. Does it get any bigger? Uh, I mean, it could be uh, quite large. <clears throat> it's just been kept bonsai. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's just been kept small. Uh, when we got it, it actually was out to about right here, pretty leggy. Didn't have a lot of dense growth. You can see where we kind of cut it back. Yep. And uh, we've got another little bonsai grove uh, right before you go into a little uh, passageway there. There's a little, uh, about four or five of them. Looks good. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Looks like a mini tree. A lot of fun, yeah. Tropical bonsais. Does it have to stay indoors and something like this, yeah. or can it go outside? It can go outside during the, uh, like spring and summer. During the hot uh, times. Yeah. But since it's tropical, it has to be overwintered. And uh, it grows pretty much 10 months out of the year. It will be growing. It slows down a lot when the light dies. The daylight isn't as long. Right. And uh, it, we, we heat the greenhouses. Uh, this radiator system 
It's uh, we've got a boiler wow. system and it pumps hot water. Um, you can see the two yeah. furnace, uh, the chimney stacks are in the furnace. Oh yeah. And uh, it pumps circulates hot water and it gets warm in here during the day, but it still gets a little cool at night. But we keep it above 60, 65. Oh, cool. At night during the winter. That's very cool. For about the past week now, I have patiently been waiting for something to arrive in the mail. And after we got done with uh, everything at the Ronalda house, we got back home and the package was sitting on my front porch. You guys know I've been posting a lot of videos lately. I really enjoy videoing and all the editing and everything that goes into it. I'm trying to keep things really interesting, giving better shots of things, uh, better storylines behind the videos, everything like that. So this one specific thing I'm trying to incorporate into all this and hoping that I'll be able to get better shots. So let's go check out what this is. No, it's not two puppies, but it's the drone. This is a Sky Hawkeye. I think it's like a HM13. I've already been playing around with it outside a little bit. I'm no RC guy whatsoever, but this thing has been pretty fun. I've crashed it a bunch and there's still nothing wrong with it. Right out of the box, there's this one, there's this one little spot right here that keeps on getting hit by the propeller. I think somebody wants to take a ride on the drone. All right, so it's out there in the middle of the floor. And we're just going to try to see if we can get it to kind of hover in here. And see what we can do with it inside. Whoop, wrong way. Whoa, shit. Oh, it's going to end in disaster. Oh, they're dying. So there we have it. We got it up a little bit, finally. But I need to get it charged for a while. I need a lot of work and practice with it, but I flew it out in the yard for a little bit, and there's a lot more room to move it out there, but in here it's a little bit more of a challenge. But this thing has been really fun so far, and I really like it. Tomorrow I'm going to get out there first thing, start playing with it because it's going to be charged for the whole night. And I'm just going to try to get up as high as possible. Hopefully it's not windy because I was battling the wind today. And that wasn't very fun. And this is another thing that I like is that when it starts getting low is it starts flashing. So you know when you got to bring it back down from the sky. Or else it will just tumble all the way down. And yes, I have done that. It happened already once. I didn't realize why it was flashing and it came all the way down. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the visit to the Ronalda house and getting to see all that stuff. Hope you guys look forward to some drone shots and more videos from me. Comment down below. Thanks for watching. As always, appreciate it. See you guys on the next one.